Hello, um, this is a second example of the tutorial that we had the, the before. Uh, we tried to launch a, a button a dialog uh, made with PyUno, which is a, the Python bridge to the Uno API, which is the API for Open Office. And here we have a different set of code. Um, still in the same folder as you can see before it's under script and python now here what we have is uh, we have uh, more lines of code and these lines of, lines of code will specify uh, we have this before it has more comments now and we have the instantiation of our of our component in this case would be our, our office suite in this case open office uh, then we have our dialog model with the same uh, with the same parameters and properties uh, for width and height but now we see this whole code block and this code block will have our button uh, model um, so you know control button model and we have the position 150 100 this will be the x and y positions within the dialog uh, then we have specified the width and height. Uh, let me try to make this width a little bit uh, larger. And um, then we have our tab index, uh, which basically means uh, where it's going to be laid on top of, like a lot, like a level. And we move on to label, which is the actual text within the button, and the name, which is the name of the widget then we is this is very important as you can see we have the object dialog model uh, not to be confused with the object button model and this object dialog will insert my button which is the name of, of uh, mm -hmm. our previous control uh, within the dialog and we have our final code which uh, this was also previously we connect the dialog with uh, the control dialog, uh, I mean the, the dialog model with the, di the actual dialog and uh, we instantiate it and uh, we save it on the, on the object O dialog as opposed to ODM. Then we um, insert or link the ODM with uh, the dialog by using set model and we finally set the whole thing to true and execute. Now this is going to give us our dialog with the button and we hope that we can go here to macros and then organize macros and then python if you can see um, and we can have our dialog of macros if you saw here before uh, it will if because we are in this folder it will show up and here we have our second example my dialog and we run it and we have our dialog with a clicking button that uh, doesn't do anything but you can see how we can uh, insta instantiate it um, we can actually play a little bit with this properties we can put uh, just 50 and then here we can put uh, from 30 we can put 55 um, we save it, we try to run it again and we should be able to have a different kind of dialog and the button will be somewhere else on this dialog we run it and we can see a larger button and on a different, before it was somewhere around here now we have it closer to the edge and that would be it, thank you very much see you in the next one, bye bye